Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. People, I'm telling you, pick up your spades, go into your garden, start digging as deep and as far as you can. Pretty soon, the whole state will be flooded and ruined, and then they'll have to leave. We must build a moat to the north, or they will come down and ruin this great state. And, Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek. Were you? Of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Yeah. <laughs> Summer program, the best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then you wake up and come out of the concussion and say, damn, I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on K-Chat right after these messages. Are you tired of your couches getting ruined? Oh, Grandpa. I made tinkles again. If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Musty Pines? We'll help bring back dignity, and we promise it will be the best three months of their lives. They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping, and organ. Yo, you don't watch this. Heavy on the pulos, you know what I mean, Meg? Now you have the comfort of knowing you don't have to. After they pass on to some months or less, you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now you don't have to say goodbye. Drive through service also available. He was just the boy next door. Hi, well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey yeah, season. Wait, hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse, a deranged killer, a small town in tears. Knife After Dark, rated R for retarded. The city. That miserable contemplation of mortality and bang. Hand Pouncing each other in the face, and that gets in the locker when we fall the game. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a.
Well, I, I'm fit to... Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading a book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to sleep. You best listen. The comeback is a real deal. B.J. Smith, six-year Pro Bowl MVP, the man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since people had legs. I'm a... Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with this business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay, perfect. Okay? Good day, senor. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Real? That's funny you should ask, because the answer is yes. He ain't implants or nothing. Wow, you're enormous. <laughs> nah, this guy's twice my size, but I'm quick, rich, and angry, like a Republican. So, oh, um, I see. Look, I ain't got anything more to say to you, and I can't fall in love with another guest or I'll get sacked. So let's go to the phones. Who's on line one? Hey, Abe. Get back to Musty Pines, old man. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. This is the greatest day of my life. Well, why the hell you call in? Don't worry, I'm a professional. The method I use in the game against essays is actually a part of my exercise video. When in doubt, go for the groin. I hope that answers your question. That's a problem with the public. comes to your living room only without the creepy guys offering to show you puppies. Awesome! Plenty Genitron. You can play video games just like... Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! To your living room. It can even take quarters. And a strange, sweaty man comes by to empty the machine on Fridays. Degenitron! Degenitron! Fighting the evil of boredom. I'll never go to school again! Degenitron! Do you have dry mouth? I sure do. It protects your teeth, bites infection, and lubricates your food. But what happens when you run out of saliva? Help me, I can't talk. For personal dryness upstairs, it's Salivex. Wow, I can spit again. Salivex is more than saliva in a can. Salivex improves consumption efficiency by 50%. 
No more halfway cures like coating your throat with cooking oil to have that extra piece of cake or bowl of kitty litter. After a night out, my tongue tasted like carpet. It was embarrassing. Now it's trash head. Effects, I can eat a whole box of crackers or lick my life partner's stamp collection all night. It's like having a salivation army in my mouth. Now I can suck a lollipop for as long as I want. Salivex tastes like your own saliva. That's because at Salivex's state-of-the-art... There's... We're deadly serious. Welcome back to Cage At. My next... Anyway, thank you for having me on the show. It's always a pleasure to discuss my art. Yes, you're so funny. Now, Claude, you're an interesting man, if you don't mind me saying so myself. Because on the one hand, you're on the funniest show in the whole wide world, just the five of us. And on the other... Yes, thank you, technical school dropout. I'm sure sitting here talking all day is terribly difficult. Juilliard is not. In the future there will be robots is not a funny piece. It deals with the most important issues in the world today. Love, pain, suffering, skin tight pants and well stretched groin muscles. But see, music has no name, Amy. It's about depth and texture and sense of community that emerges from the struggle going on within all of us. Between man and machine. Between the angel and beast. It's as if Petrushka and Leonard Bernstein were in a ferocious dance competition with switchblades. That is passion, my dear. Um, okay. So it's a bit like just the five of us. Can you rub lotion on the back of my leg? I'd never attempt to describe just the five of us as anything other than a worshipless cat. I need to support my serious art. It's like stealing a boombox to do live interpretive dance. If I bring joy to people's hearts doing an interpretation of a tree in the park, who is harmed? There is a value I derive from art, as a man, as a creator, and that is this. Never overestimate the dreadfulness... Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. Well, this kindness will reward you. And then... We will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. Some that it... that had people weeping and lying down in the streets. It's about movement, about encouraging ordinary, working-class people that there is something enervating about a modern dance performance. That seeing in the future there will be robots will change your life, no matter what your life's like now. Kind of like getting a new haircut. Yes, exactly. No, nothing like a new haircut, you half-wit. This is movement. Watch my hand. Yes, movement. There's a manatee on stage, see? He cannot hear from the wall of Wagner around him. 
We have lasers that shoot him down, cut him free, free his soul from the bondage of the past. And then on stage, we have snow that falls and represents love in all its forms. The robot makes a snow angel, and we begin to cry. Close curtain. Um, okay. Well, I love just the five of us. Please, 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 enough! Five succeeds while robots starve. Attendance has been poor. If I... Shut that big mouth of yours! You looking for He's got a blade! Baby? Stop running, you fat slime ball! Keep away from me, you cheap bastard! Oh, but the honest on. Amy, they were <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel ahead of my time. The best artists are ignored. I mean, surely, any right-minded person would rather spend an evening watching me express the meaning of space as I move delicately across the stage in the dance of desire and denigration, flopping around in a disco or a nightclub or sucking the electric teat of television. I know I would. God, I... Cicero, Shakespeare, Flaubert, someone, please save me from this hellhole. My dear, you are so ignorant. I'm trying to save you, to save everyone. You don't see the art around you. Are you in search of old Lang Zines, singing Madame Butterfly on a windowsill, or relegating yourself to a cricket in Huckleberry Finn? I'm a movement that conquers love while you complain about your dress. Know you not how important my mission be? Right. Cool. Okay, Mr. Chesterfield, I mean, <laughs> Mr. Maganot, you've got to hang in there. You're on K-Chat, and I'll be right back. At the law firm of Leo and Furax, we understand that sometimes life throws you a curveball. We help our blue chip clients get their lives back after circumstances uh -huh. have conspired against them. Just listen. There was an unfortunate accident. What happened to my wife on that precarious cliff? The layer with your arts can't bring my You good little turd. And you saw it that way too. Uh, I accidentally torched a quickie mark when my medication ran out. <laughs> Dilio and Furex helped me and the community by ensuring a healthy settlement from the pharmaceutical companies. At Dilio and Furex, we understand the judicial system and we'll ensure the truth is heard, no matter how improbable. We're not cheap, but what price can you put on truth? Call Dilio and Furex. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a valuable deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. Mr. Maganard, Bruce from Porn Island. Big fan of the show, Mr. Mag. No, big fan. I don't know about this, the robot thing. It's, it's weird. Quickly, is he really 42? Did he shop in the kids' aisle? Did he get on a roller coaster ride? I mean, what's the deal? Did he pay half price for the movie? No comment. Next caller. Oh my god, trauma. I meant that's, that's my line. I'm supposed to say that. Oh, this guy is such a dick. Oh, next caller. Oh, oh, who's on the line? you talking?
The rain. She's très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, comment? Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot him, bully. You've got to do better, Mr. Snell. Ah, you eat my dirt. Slow, fat American bullhead. Au revoir, you... you traitant. Yes, yes, my, my, I agree. Thanks for calling. That is an important question. You see, I'm an important person, and I especially think so. It is really important for people to see my form move through space in very tight pants, or the effect is ruined. Interpretive dance cannot be expressed in baggy clothing. It's like a violin parade. Otherwise, why have a love story with a manatee and the laser? Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Like Leporello or a taxi driver about my duties cleaning the back seat, I shall bid you adieu. Okay, thanks, Pod. Next, we have a very important guest who doesn't dance like a weird jerk. We'll be back right after this. You're on K Chat. Knights of the Road, here's your stallion. The car for freedom. freedom. The car for hot excitement. The car for a man who is alone against the elements. The pride is back. It's the power of a compact. Fuel injected. Inject me. My mod. Give me an ID. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. I know you saw me. They read complicated literature and have concern for their fellow man. They even like to share. Tell your kids if someone approaches them with pamphlets about recycling, an invitation to a labor rally, or showing any doubts about the fairness of our system, then they should find a teacher or a policeman immediately. Do yourself a Take both hands off the wheel and touch the stick. Do you feel the power? Ah, oh, yes, friend. There's a lot of people in the world, but there is also room. And I have been sent to shine a light on all degenerates, philanders, oh, liberals, and other evildoers. And... Can you you must be called Tessa's new gun. gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Hey, me. You don't 
Too, Amy. You've just busted since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll answer your question. We are mostly non-violent, though many of the Vikings traveled to Scotland and my Recklin, Abuk, Dine. It's enough to make you want to burn a village to the ground. That's why, in my cassette series, I talk about the importance of communication. You see, Amy, men and women live in different worlds. We use different words. A group of men talk about what they've idea and their feelings. When I'm raiding a village, I don't need to be talking about feelings. It's time for action. Great. So is that all there is to being a Viking? Pillaging? No, lass, no. Pillaging and battle are important, but we admire poetry as well. As long as it's poems about whacking someone in with a double-handed battle axe. What's holding you back, Amy? In chapter three of my book, I talk about listening to the bloodthirsty water spirit. It's really quite important if you want to enter Valhalla. I think... Valhalla uh, was that golf club, wasn't it? So, 1980... I live! Take heads! And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy Lance? What is There's a lot of weight. Ay, ay, ay.